Body systems is the next topic. So for body systems, right, all these topics are a bit special. You have to know the part and function. Body systems, also same thing. You have to know the parts and the function. Meaning, you must know what does the mouth do, what does the intestine do, what does all these things do, okay? Small intestine, large intestine, stomach, everything. This is for digestive system. But of course, for circulatory, circulatory system, same thing. You must know what does each part do. Digestive system, we got all these parts, PQRST. Which part of digestion takes place? PRT. P? RT. PRT is the mouth, which is your digestive juice, your stomach. Yes. Okay, good. Your stomach, which is also your di digestive juices, and your T, which is a small intestine. Small intestine. Good. So let's label everything out better. Okay, so mouth. Q will be your digestive system, right? So that will be your gullet. Okay. Not your windpipe. Uh. Your windpipe is for the wind to go in, uh, your air to go in. Next one will be your stomach. And then after that, we have our large intestine and our small intestine. So where has my digestive juices? Will be on my mouth, my, my mouth, my stomach. And my small intestine, you are right, PRT. So what happens at S during digestion process? Large intestine, what's happening here? Absorption of, uh, and of um, water and minerals. Okay. Water and mineral salts. Okay. Please. Correct. Absorption of water. But you have some words missing, huh? Good, but good try. Yes, you are right. So you must tell me what's part S first. Again, remember, remember I said it must have part and function. Part S is the large intestine. You must tell me the part first. Okay, what is it? Large intestine? Tell me the function of it. So which absorbs excess water and mineral salts. You just have to memorize all these functions from the undigested food and enters the bloodstream. Okay. Memorize all these functions. And I want to highlight some important words. The words excess. Excess water means extra water, but where does the water, some of the water gets absorbed? Do you know that your small intestine not only absorbs your digested food, it also absorbs your water. So, do you know that small intestine, they actually absorb water as well. Okay, just that the water that you absorb for the small intestine is not as much as the large intestine. Large intestine absorbs more of the water. That's why we don't, we don't really talk about the absorption of water in the small intestine. Okay, but where is absorption taken place? is at your small intestine and your large intestine. Only these two places absorb stuff. So only these two places, if these two places spoil, right? Not spoil, like maybe uh, stop working properly, then you will not get enough nutrients for your body because your body can't even absorb any, any of your food, any of your water. So these are the two places that absorbs food only. Yeah? Water is very minimal in the small intestine. Okay, so for the absorption of digested food, you use it for small intestine. That's more important. Okay, good. Next one, we have organisms A are harmful organisms that live in the human small intestine with the poor person hygiene. So I, I've seen this online before in YouTube videos. Huh? You can go and search, search, search about it. They, they call it, I think, a cake worm. If, if you have ever heard of it, cake worm. But yes, so they have all these things uh, that actually live in your body. This harmful organisms they get is food from the small intestine. So these organisms uh, eat the digested food. Okay, your, your small intestine function will be, there's two functions for small intestine. So you have to know the function as well for every part. Uh. So small intestine, right, not only you have your digestion that completes here, completes at the small intestine. Yeah, of course, we have our absorption over there, okay? Whereby you have uh, 
digested food passes through the walls of the small intestine. Then the blood is like how you have your trans, you have your circulatory system, like how you have your cars on the road. It transports everything everywhere. Transport your food, transport your your water to your head, to your legs, to your arms, to everywhere that you need. Okay, and again. It's all linked together, you realize? Digested food, we're talking about this just now, for respiration. So, oxygen comes from your um, respiratory system, your nose and everything, go everything, your lungs, then you get your digested food here, together, mixed together, you will have your energy. That's why you have energy ma, for your legs and your arms to move, for your heart to pump and things like that. Okay, so all these are the two functions for small intestine. We are looking at the second function here. Why? Because you're looking at the organism A eat all my digested food. If they eat, really what happened? They also poor thing. Then the child will not get enough nutrition. Because why? No more food, right? Yeah. I mean, not no more food. Maybe left a little bit. Okay? So they have lesser food that's absorbed into the bloodstream. Everything just decreases. Digested food decreases, the, how much is in the bloodstream also decreases. That's why my child cannot get enough nutrition. So, just tell me everything, no? which is the part and function as usual. They ask, you to, they ask you to say, see, they say they give a reason. So again, give a reason is explained. So let's talk about part and function. So let's talk about this. Organism A. Organism A would feed on the digested food in the small intestine. Not everything is gone, right? only have, you only eat some maybe. Okay. Less digested food would be, would pass through the walls of the small intestine and enter the bloodstream and function as usual. Then you just link back to the question about the nu nutrients part. So less digested food would be transported to other parts of the child's body. Receiving less uh, not enough nutrients. Nutrients. That's all.